Blind Beauty with Shelby Travers. Eyebrows may seem like these random hairs that are placed above your eyes, but they can actually be a big step into transforming your face. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks to make them fuller and make them shaped a little bit nicer for your face. Whether you have thin sparse brows or thick brows, there's ways on making them look amazing. They're not just these little furry caterpillars on your face. We're going to make them into eyebrows that are on fleek. With fuller brows, you're going to want to use a tinted brow gel. One with fibers in it is going to step you up that next level. This is what I use because I actually have quite full brows with a lot of hair. The one I really like to use is the Benefit Give Me Brow because it has those fibers in it and a really small brush. This makes it very easy to go through, especially as a blind person. If you've got more sparse brows or very thin brows with not much hair, a retractable pencil will be your best friend. This will be easy for you to give those actual hair-like strokes, and that's something that the tinted brow gel will not give you. It can be really messy if you use that product on your eyebrows when they don't need it. Something like the brow pencil I am holding, called the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz, comes with two ends on it. One is the retractable pencil, and the other is a spoolie. A spoolie is kind of like a mascara brush, but don't actually use a mascara brush because that will give you sharpie eyebrows and no one wants that. So depending on your eyebrow shape and what you're really going for, the pencil or the brow gel is going to give you exactly what you need and frame that beautiful face that you already have. And there you have it. Your eyebrows are on fleek. If you get overwhelmed, use that spoolie, blend them away. Makeup is supposed to be fun. Don't get stressed out. At the end of the day, it can just come off.